All right, so here they can mock punch us, um, or they can swap to Kofagrigas. Even if they swap to Kofagrigas, Kofagrigas dies, and we got a one wall out of the way. Um, this team actually with Snorlax has what one, two, three issue, three, three issues out of six that we have to get rid of to use Snorlax. That's kind of crazy. Uh, so we're gonna flare blitz here, and ooh, they might actually survive this flare blitz and just drain punch. Oh, yes. Huh. All right, guys, here for another OU video. I thought I'd do something different. I thought I'd bring out the big boy himself, the one and only Snorlax. We're going to try to run a cursed Snorlax set in OU. Uh, I, I personally haven't done this. So this is what we're going to do. With the description of the team is going to be down below. And let's go over my mindset for this team. So if you're not aware of what a cursed Snorlax is, it's basically a Snorlax that gets really slow and really defensive and, and is really bulky. So what you, your whole point of the, the thing is you're going to abuse his Snorlax's massive HP and special defense. And, and then you're going to start cursing, which gives you attack and defense each time you curse. And they're not going to be able to kill you because you'll curse a couple times. They'll do some damage to you. Then you'll rest, heal up, wait two turns, and then start hitting them super hard. We got Body Slam and Heat Crash. Heat Crash for anything that Body Slam can't hit like ghost types or uh, defensive walls that are very defensive, uh, like uh, field types, right? Um, we split uh, our uh, EVs pretty pretty evenly, HP, defense, and special defense, and we're running a thick bat to just help resist any fire type or ice type moves. We can technically use this as uh, like a semi blissey in our match as well. And then of course, careful, more uh, special defense, reducing special attack. So this is what we're gonna try to c carry with. Um, it's my favorite Pokemon, so I love doing this. Curse Lock's really good. Its weaknesses, any fighting type move that touches it, it takes way too much damage. Unless it's like uh, Lucario using Aerosphere, it's not as bad. Um, so you don't want to take any fighting type moves. So if they swap in something that's going to be faster than this, unless you have six curses, you're not going to be wanting to taking a close combat or drain punch or mock punch at any time. Also, anything that's faster than it that has taunt you, it, or haze. Taunt is going to stop you from cursing and using rest. And Haze is going to essentially negate all the cursing that you've done. So those two, those three things are your main things that you want to look out for. If if someone gets in front of you, you're cursing and they use Will-O-Wisp, well, your rest will take that burn away at that point. So you can just, and then if they toxic you, same thing, you can, you can rest it away. This is a pretty common set for Snorlax. So a lot of people are going to kind of expect it and know how to play around it already. So we got to work our way around it in order to get set up with this. Now, the rest of the team that we're going to be working on, um, I got myself a scar Choice Scarf Darmatan. We're running Adamant. We're running uh, this this uh, EV spread. This means that we're faster than base 130 as long as they don't have a Scarf on. So we can actually kill Jolteons and Starmies with this. Um, we're running Flare Blitz, Super Power Rocks, U-Turn with Sheer Force, of course, because Darmatan hits like really strong. The reason why I want to bring Darmatan is to get rid of any physical walls that we need to that will wall Snorlax, right? Now, um, our defensive core, I'm running um, a ghost type Pokemon, uh, mainly for uh, Kong Kelder. And the fact that I need something to swap if they put a physical uh, fighting type Pokemon in front of me, I want to be able to have an immunity because they're probably going to be using it towards Snorlax. Uh, that's my thought, at least. Bold HP, defense EVs, and we're looking at Hex, Toxic Spikes, Will-O-Wisp, and I'm running Rest, actually, instead of Pain Split. Uh, rest, I <laughs> I mean, Rest can beat, with Toxic Spikes, this thing can beat a Blissey, no problem, because you can rest away the poison. Um, and then you can put a lot of pressure on them, and so I'm going to try it out. Now we're running a Careful Swamp with this, and then a really a solid Special Defense wall, but it's going to be our Defensive Spec Pokemon running HP and special defense there. And then we're gonna be running Stealth Rock because uh, I find Swampert if you lead with Swampert. Most of the time you get Stealth Rock off, then you can actually Toxic someone. This is gonna be our w Rotom Wash Stopper, essentially. Running Ice Bunch and Waterfall for coverage and of course, leftovers. Now we're gonna go over to, I gotta make sure my mic's actually recording. Okay, we gotta go over to our two special attack uh, oriented Pokemon that I'm gonna have on here. Um, we're running a Choice Specs Modest. You saw this from last last uh last um video um the one thing this team doesn't have is a way to remove hazards so we could actually swap out this pokemon for like a starmie with rapid spin or we could just 
remove the choice specs, have defog on this Rotom, one of the two, but I'm gonna actually try to run this without because the only Pokemon that really takes damage from coming in and Hazards is going to be Darmton and we're gonna use him up early. That's my goal at least. And then we're running a timid, a special attack orientated um, Lucario. Um, yeah, nasty flat dark pulse or a spear and vacuum wave. That's uh, that's what we're, we're looking at. Um, you, like I said, we can change this like thunder wave to hidden power fire or we can change it to defog and get rid of the trick and put the hidden power fire there or something. But let's see how this goes. I'll get into a match here. So let me get this baby queued up. All right, we're in a match. Let's take a look at what we got here. We got a high dragon. Um, we have two defensive walls, uh, special defensive walls. So a blissey. We got the scissor conk combo. So let's see. Our, our main things we need to get rid of are scissor and conk. They're both going to hit Snorlax really hard. So Snorlax is going to kind of play as one of our... Um, our defensive Pokemon here. Um, looking at their team though, uh, I think running, um, let's run Darmatan first. If we run Darmatan first, uh, and they put out anything except for Hydreigon, I'm not worried about it. Let's, we're, we can use, uh, we can get rid of this. Well, Kofagrigus is also an issue. All right, Blue Mela. All right, so here they can mock punch us. Um, or they can swap to Kofagrigus. Even if they swap to Kofagrigus, Kofagrigus dies, and we got a one wall out of the way. Um, this team actually, with Snorlax, has, what, one, two, three, issue, three, three issues out of six that we have to get rid of to use Snorlax? That's kind of crazy. Uh, so we're going to Flare Blitz here, and, ooh, they might actually survive this Flare Blitz and just Drain Punch us. Ooh, they did. And they went with Stone Edge, so that killed us. But we got a, and a crit. Oh, oh man, oh man, what is going on here? All right. So here's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna try to util utilize uh, Lud Lucario, mainly because this thing's probably going to try to mock punch us, right? Uh, so we just have to vacuum wave, and they swap to uh, Kofagrigus, then we can just nasty plot, right? And nasty plot. I think actually we break Tentacruel too with Nasty Plot. All right, so there's the, ooh, the Blissey. They swapped the Blissey? What if I mock punched or something or ext That's insane. How did they know it was this? <laughs> All right, um, well, Blissey is probably going to either flamethrower us. If you if it flamethrowers us, we're really, it, we're in trouble, right? If we flamethrower, so. We can, we can, um, we can nasty plot here, assuming maybe a flamethrower. Uh, if, if it's a flamethrower, it's really, we're, we're done, right? Um, Lucario is not going to beat this, but we can get rid of a lot of Blissey's HP and then put in, uh, like a Swampert or something. Let's nasty plot. Does this person have flamethrower on their Blissey? They have wish. We can... We can nasty plot again. Oh God. Let's nasty plot again. Are they gonna are they gonna teleport out? Back to Conk? That heals Conk all the way up. Or, right? Now it takes burn damage. Alright. So um time to do some some all right, we're plus four attack. Versus uh, Conk. Oh, you guts. It's at how much HP? Uh, game. Game. 93%, let's say. I'd say it's it has 252 HP. Just... Um, Vacuum Wave, if it has full HP, Vacuum Wave still has 12% chance. So we just Vacuum Wave here, expecting them to, um, to mock Punch, right? Now, if this thing survives, I'm going to be so mad, right? All right, so Vacuum Wave hits. Solid. <laughs> um, Tentacruel, right? All right. 
uh, Tentacruel, uh, blank set, 252, say it's special defense is 252, and it's uh, call careful. Level 50. How much damage do we do with Dark Pulse? Well, all right. So how much? So we do 60, 65% damage uh, with Dark Pulse right now, right? Uh, if we plus, we only do 87. So it's better to do two Dark Pulses at this point. So we Dark Pulse here, and maybe we get a flinch, and we take a Scald, right? There's the Life Orb damage. Knock off! Okay, so we no longer have Life Orb. So let's say we got this. Dark Pulse is going to do 50% damage. We still kill. 50, 50. We have a, <laughs> all right. So it's at what? 48% HP. We have a 37% chance of, of, uh, killing this thing. And we killed it. All right. This is huge. I think we might've swept with Lucario. Now we're not taking damage, right? All right. Caesar. Uh, we just are a sphere here. And pray that we one shot Caesar without the life orb damage, which I think we do. All right, um, we're not gonna get to use Snorlax here. Um, all right, Kofagrigus, uh, we just Dark Pulse here, and there's the forfeit. That was really easy. Um, let's think about the the team that we were up against. We couldn't even use Snorlax, right? Unless we got three other threats away, because superpower from Caesar. Conkelder with Mach Punch, Drain Punch. It's probably faster after we, we, uh, we, uh, what do you call it? Um, curse a couple times anyways. They had two spe special defensive walls, but, so like, if they would have had something else, maybe a little bit faster, it would have been a little more of an issue. They had a Wish Blissey instead of Flamethrower, and we kind of rolled the ball, the dice on that. If it had Flamethrower, uh, we would have probably lost, I think, overall. Like, we might have been able to work our way out of it. Um, their High Dragon dies to Vacuum Wave. Their Blissey dies, it, it doesn't kill us, so we just Nasty Plot when they put it back in. It doesn't actually wall us, and then we can kill it with our Sphere. Um, and yeah, we they had a superpower with the uh, with the Caesar there, but uh, Aura Sphere just kills. Actually, to be honest, I bet you uh, Vacuum Wave kills a Caesar. Let's look. All right, uh, Choice Band doubles. Sure, that that's a that's close enough. Uh, Aura Sphere for sure kills. Vacuum Wave was close, so we could have Vacuum Wave twice if they would have like bullet punched or something. But yeah, that was really good. We didn't get to use Swampert either. Um, the problem, the reason why I don't want to use Swampert uh, as a lead. So say if we did Swampert as a lead and they put out whatever, right? If they put out this Swampert versus their Conk, that was actually a really bad matchup, right? And and I don't know too many people who lead with Conk Elder, to be honest. Uh, they hit a Stone Edge and it crit, but it even if it didn't crit, it would have killed uh, this. And we kind of got rid of... We got it. We got rid of Conk with our Darmatan, but the problem was they uh, they ended up healing it back up with Wish, but then we ended up clearing it out anyways. So it gave us the opportunity to get two nasty plots off, which I think was w what won us the match, right? Um, if I would have put this out and they put out any other Pokemon and then just swapped to um, their the Rapid Spin user, which would have been Tentacruel, I can't kill Tentacruel with this set. I need Earthquake, but I'm running Waterfall and Ice Punch. So they would have been either able to just Toxic me. I couldn't Toxic, toxic them back. And if I swap to like Kofagrigas to stop them from Rapid Spinning, they can just defeat. They they beat Kofagrigas too. So yeah, no, that was a, that was an interesting match. It was really fast. Uh, and the fact that they used Knockoff was actually not a bad thing uh because we were still able to kill tentacruel and we didn't take any damage because like if we would have if they would have just scalded right into lucario we probably would have took like we would have been at like 30 percent hp right and then bullet punch actually becomes an issue i think at that point 
So Bullet Punch does um, 45% H of my HP, uh, of Lucario's HP. Like, it would have been an issue if they would have just scalded. That's what the opponent should have done. They should have scalded. And then, well, first of all, the opponent shouldn't have put in Blissey versus... I'm, I'm surprised. Like, what if what if I close combated or, or if I extreme speeded to kill um to kill Conk there? Like, if this was a physical set, like, I could be running all physical and then one Rotomo, which actually Rotomo did really bad against their team. So, well, that's Bolt Switch versus Tentacle is okay. And I could have tricked it, but I don't want to trick a Tentacle. Um, yeah, that was a fun match. Uh, very fast match. Uh, not much to examine, but uh, I think the route of play worked out in our favor. Uh, and we did a lot of Calyx quick. We had to do a lot of Calyx just to see how how much damage we were going to do with... And and I mean, we could have just straight up flinched Tentacruel and it would have died, right? Like, if it flinched, we would have still had Life Orb on and everything. Life Orb, it wouldn't even have brought us down. I don't think... I don't even know how much HP we had. Uh, but... Yeah, the Dark Pulse did so much damage. Oh my god. <laughs> Oppressor. NTR. Yeah, and then they just forfeited Panchita. Alright, that's it. Um, I might try this one again next next uh, video, just because we didn't really get to try even use Snorlax. This ended up being like, how to sweep stupidly with Lucario in a special attack uh, set. <laughs> That's, that's what this video is, is labeled, but I digress. You guys have a nice day. I'll see you back for OU this week. Oh, not OU, uh, doubles this week. And I'm trying, trying so hard to get a guide out. Uh, I'm like about 20% into the guide editing wise. Everything's recorded for the most part. Everything's situated. I just need to get the editing done. And to be honest, that's what takes the longest on these videos. So I'll get it there. But uh, if you have any questions, comments, uh, things I should change, I think we should definitely put Divaga on, but uh, leave it in the comments below. Appreciate it. You guys are freaking amazing. And I'll see you guys later. It's the end. Hey, check out these guys, okay? And then there's uh, one right there, one right there, and I'll uh, see you guys later. <laughs>